I mean, I brought this brand new stuff today, but I brought my Cadillac with a certain way. Yeah. I love the Lord. So, is that like a house cover thing? I'll tell you what this is. So, it is injury testing. Okay. And then it's a uh, turn signal hammer shot. So it's got that plug. Okay. But it's that, just that plain turn signal hammer that you know a lot of. Yeah. It's, it's got kind of a, almost like a gold hammer kind of here today. And then the roof is just, uh, that's actually a white roof shot with uh, pearls and the uh, but I built that with my Stephanie. I did that with the bottom of the room. I bought it with the room. I put it over the bottom of the room. Yeah, I built it with the room. I built it with the room. And I was like, oh, that's a joy. And I got a third with it. And I was like, Nine I'm assuming it started like the 53. Yeah. Okay. Or Megal. Yeah, that one was built for we're all online and it was everybody had to build the 55 truck. Build it however you want. So you do the stand delivery or the truck. Okay. And A, I hate 24 scale. B, I, thought, <laughs> I like 24 scale. I know this guy is the one that picked it. <laughs> and so I was going to fuck him and I was like, I'm going to cut this thing. <laughs> And so I did a whole video series on how I built it. And basically just said, all right, we're going to just go down a path. So did you already have a vision using the, 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 the Thunderbird Street. Mac Cab? No, no. Like, it's crazy. It's got like a, like a run, custom dream truck vibe yeah, to it. That's you what know, I wanted. Every day. It, it started off, the direction it was going to be is so I was going to take the orange holler mm -hmm. and it was like, that's 24 scale, and that was cool. And I was thinking bubble top. And then it had the bubble top, and it actually had the one collar cab. Okay. And that, it was like, I, I made the cab fit that interior, and then it was like the whole front had to be cut off and pancaked and made to fit that. And then it was like, I didn't like how it was all stubby, like orange hollow, because I wanted it to slide into the fenders. Okay. And then, um, I just started I don't have enough thinking. I, I, it's like I need some more parts. And I, I got had the 56 you know, you know, you know, you know, Okay. I was like, oh, let me get this $12 58 that's on eBay or ship. And I was like, all right. And then it just kind of fit. And then I still had the um, bubble top on. And then, then I was like, no, this windshield fits too good on the top. Uh, and now it's like the bird turkey. Is that the, 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 the hard top roadster that, that, that is? Oh, really? And the dashboard fits on it? Yes, sir. Well, that, is, that is super sharp. I, I, yeah, I'm getting there. I was going to probably film this back out of that table and eat and then get that. Just finish the real one. Yeah. And then I'm going to go in there. Yeah, This is Mark Batson's 32nd scale Earnhardt car that he's been working on. Wow, it's amazing. Look at the gauges in there, they're all <laughs> wired and everything. Too cool.
got a spare motor too. You got a big motor. That's a, he fell out. <laughs> the throttle stuck. Oh, everybody laugh at the guy that made the, the car without a driver. Everybody laugh. I saw one of your videos and people giving me a hard time about that. That's all right. I, I, I don't know anybody that's giving me a hard time about that, actually. <laughs> Everybody's a comedian. Way, I appreciate you. Yeah, man. Years, man. I oh, hey, I appreciate you. Thank you so much. Even though you said my car didn't have a driver. So there's actually glass on this one. So he's carrying glass. That's really nifty. You need wheel chalks. I do. <laughs> I got it. His, his race truck's rolling away. I should have fixed it for the wheels, but no. You're just making the wheels. Here's the comedy car. Yeah. 
So this show goes way back, 40 years I think maybe, and here are some of the uh, plaques from way back, here's 1981, 82, 83, and they're still using that logo which is cool, 84, 85, and 86, that's cool, and then these are built by Dennis Smith, the one who organizes this. I've seen this one in person. This thing is amazing. Black Max. He used the uh, Red Baron to, to sort of the, the body of it, but so many parts uh, Dennis made. Uh, there's a lot of stainless steel and stuff like that. The, sp the front spring is uh, metal. The axles will be metal. There's just so many metal parts on this thing. I videoed this one at Acme uh, 2021 or two. I forget. The first time I went to Acme, this was there and I saw it. Yeah, that thing is amazing. The Black Max. I suppose Dennis also, yeah, he did these too. He does some really good work. All right, guys, so the show is over. He closed it down. Closed it down. He said, "Enough is enough. <laughs> Shut the thing down. We're done." No, it was. It was a good show. No, it was. This really was. Good. I had more fun this year than that. I'm glad you did. It was great. Yeah, we had uh, a lot more vendors at about ten tables that I sold at the, this morning. Yeah. And then, uh, of course, the, the uh, model count was right at 450. Okay, good. So it was yeah. really good. It was like so everything's going good. Good. I had Joseph here, and he he ran the vendor table for most part of the day, and he learned a lot about 3D printed parts because people threw questions at him that oh, yeah, he didn't know, so. <laughs> but I gave him the information he needed, so it was a good combination. Yeah, but great. Tim Kalanka, which pretty much, 
I don't know how, how, how much did I, he pay you guys? He paid me a lot. Did he? Okay. You know, I, well, at first I, I told him, well, I'll give you some gas when we get up here. Gas said, money, well, yeah. You know, then he said, well, I'll turn the pay, return the pay. Yeah, uh, so, so, no, Tim, Tim's Tim, a great guy. Man. I'm glad he came up. A lot of guys traveled from a lot of yeah. long away places. We, sure did. we drove eight hours to get here, and it is well worth it. You guys get out, attend these shows, support these these local shows, even if it's not local to you, it's local to them, and it's that's the lifeblood of our hobby. Come do it. The vendors always have great deals and uh, you never know who you're going to uh, meet. We saw, what's the car? The, there was this a, a one to one car show here. But they Monogram had, Big T. The Monogram the Big T. It's one of the reproductions that Dale Starbird did years ago. So it's a really neat idea. Yeah, it, it was here. It just this show is phenomenal because you have not only this, you have the one to one show and it's just a great time. Anyway, Dennis, thanks for having yeah, us. Yeah, thank you. And make sure you check out mdacarshow.com for all the information. mdacarshow.com. Plus pictures will be there. So. Cool. All right, man. Thanks for coming. Take care. Look to see didn't make it again this year. This year, yeah. But you know, hey, there's always the next year. There's always the thumb. There's always the thumb. Start early. Go fund me. Yeah. That's what the boss said. All right, guys. <laughs> the boss said it. All right. Everybody, you take care. See you later. Bye.